Namaste. Hello. Hello. It's lovely to connect with you today. My name is Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for Tuesday and Wednesday. So I, I can't stop for long. I've actually got to go and run a few errands. Um, so I've got 10 or 15 minutes which I thought was better than nothing. So uh, I'm just going to get straight into it. Extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Also, you may have seen that it's uh, this week is Temple of Balance's 13th birthday. So I also want to extend a big thank you to all of you who have supported my work over the years. 13 years. And Puss has been rolling around in the dirt by the look of her. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you so much for your support over the years. Um, it's, yeah, quite mind-blowing, actually, for me to think that I've been doing my work full-time for 13 years, which is exciting. So, hello, everyone. Lovely to see you. Um, if you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is using my Speed of Light Oracle cards and I'm going to be looking for the best card for when uh, Tuesday 1st actually, Tuesday the 20th of February and the best card for Wednesday the 21st of February and then the best card for the theme for Tuesday and Wednesday. So I am not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. Uh, it's a guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been let here for a reason. And I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. And um, I, I just trust it's no accident that we happen to be spending this time together today. So I trust that you receive something helpful and supportive for you. You will know if it's guidance it's meant to be for you because it will make sense. It will resonate. It will seem like I'm, talk <laughs> uh, I'm talking directly to you and you can trust that. So I'm just going to get straight into it because as I said, I don't have stacks of time here today to do lots of rambling. <laughs> So I guess I um, hopefully I'm not in a rambling mood. So I'm now looking for the best card for Tuesday the 20th of February. So if it's not Tuesday for you, you can think of this as guidance in advance. So Tuesday the 20th, we'll go with this card for the best card for Tuesday, which is this. Card 14 called Eagle's Nest. And the keywords say preparation home, waiting, and soon. He talks about changes in the home, changes in the workplace, but especially in the home. Often changes in the workplace um, on flow into our home anyway. So this is especially changes around our nest, so changes around the home, and that our time of waiting will soon be over, and that this time of waiting is an important time for preparing ourselves for what's next, preparing ourselves for the change in the home or whatever it might be that's happening around the home. Also, this card um, reminds me of one of my favourite phrases to use, which is tend to the nest. And that's a little phrase that I use to remind myself when I'm getting, um, when I'm focusing on things that are outside of me or outside of um, my which I don't need to be focusing on, like getting involved in other people's business, for example, or worrying about what other people might be thinking, or just basically um, investing too much of my attention in things that aren't important to me, I will remind myself to tend to the nest. So tend to what's important to me. So think about tending to or um, put your attention into what is important to you on Tuesday. Um, and for some of us, it may be a bit of nesting. We may feel a bit like homely on Tuesday and we want to just tend to things around the home or, or um, I, I'm reminded of my grandmother when we used to visit her as children and we used to bring our little dolls, my sisters and I, I've got three sisters. Um, and we used to take our dolls to visit my grandmother and she used to fluff up all her uh, really nice soft woolen blankets all around our dolls. And I'm just getting that sort of visual. And I feel like, you know, um, nurturing and nourishing and sort of um, 
making um, around our home or around our space comfortable on uh, Tuesday may be important for some of us. So um, that's the guidance for Tuesday. So changes around the home, preparing, um, our time of waiting will soon be over, but also focus on what's important to you on Tuesday or what's important to you at this moment. If you've been investing a lot of energy in worry or concerns or stress or things that are um, going on in other people's lives, it might be important on Tuesday to take some deep breaths and really bring your focus back to what is important to you. So that's that. Let's now look for the best card for uh, Wednesday the 21st of February. So Wednesday the 21st and it's going to shuffle until I feel I need to stop. And then we'll go with this card for Wednesday here. And we've got Lizard. I am going to honour this featured card today. So we've got further instructions here which say to draw the third card from the deck. So I go down here. We've got that as extra. So we've got these two for Wednesday. Lizard and Creation interesting i'm going to look at these separately then we're going to look at their relationship together so this is lizard card three and it says optimism appearances delusion and illusion so it talks about um, being careful of taking things at face value on wednesday and things that might be um revealed to us or presented to us that may seem too good to be true. So let's just look past the appearances and past the shiny, glossy exterior that's been presented to us. The used car sort of thing is a great example of this card. Like um, a used car salesman and love to any of you that might be watching. Uh, but this is just a great example to emphasize what this card's talking about. You know, let's say we go and look at a used car and it's been presented all shiny and the motor and the engine is running really well. But there might have been some stuff tweaked or um, some cleaning done or some polishing up done that's hiding what's under the surface. So let's just be careful of things that sound a bit too good to be true on Wednesday. And it doesn't mean they're not worth pursuing pursuing but it means that um, we might need to look deeper at the fine print or what's under the surface on Wednesday. So um, just be careful of appearances but we'll have a bit more information when we uh, just <laughs> oh, I got on funny uh, so I was getting a phone call that I decided to reject but instead I, <laughs> I clicked accept. So sorry, I just paused for a moment and we'll go back to this, which is um, the second card for Wednesday, which is called Creation, card 29. And the keywords say source, uncoil, light and authentic. So this talks about coming out of hiding and opening up just that little bit more within ourselves on Wednesday. So this sense of stopping um, holding ourselves back and allow ourselves to open up and to step forward just that little bit, uh, that little bit more on Wednesday. To come out of hiding, to come out of our shell to um, stop actually holding back in our lives. Sometimes we hold back um, without probably realizing it because we don't feel safe to be ourselves or we don't feel safe to speak up. We may not be feeling comfortable in those moments. So let's just take some deep breaths on Wednesday and remember to just step out of our comfort zone just that little bit further to allow our authentic light to open up and shine from within. So that's where our true power really uh, resides is within ourselves so let's let our light shine from within let's uncoil and come out of hiding from inside rather than what we might be seeing in our outer appearances which is taking me back to this card that came up um, with the creation card for Wednesday let's be careful that we're not um, thinking that our power is outside of ourselves and in things that 
are being presented to us, material things is what I want to say, um, or our outer appearance. This is reminding us to go inward and let our light crack open from inside. So let's be who we are without feeling like we've got to put masks on or we've got to hide behind our big house or our shiny new car. Let's, um, you know, life and who we are is so much more than that. So let's be careful we're not hiding behind material possessions or the appearances of things um, and keeping up those appearances. And let's move those away and look. I, I see like driving two new cars away from in front of us and letting who we are shine out from inside rather than what we have shining out. So it may be important for some of us to remember that on Wednesday. So that's Wednesday's guidance. I trust it makes sense for you. Hello everyone. Hi Wendy. Hi Josephine and everyone watching. I will uh, read your comments later when I get back on my computer. But I'm now looking for the best card for the theme for Tuesday and Wednesday. The theme card will help bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for Tuesday and Wednesday. So the best card for the theme is this here, card 24 called Expanded Love. And the keywords say productivity, teamwork and holding space. This is talks about coming together with others um, in a space of love or for a common interest or a common goal or, goal or a common reason over Tuesday and Wednesday. So gatherings, this could be with one other person or it could be larger gatherings, but the reason for the gathering is coming together for a common interest or a common purpose. So I feel, and from this card, that um, we might be feeling quite productive in general <laughs> over uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so we might feel quite um, active and proactive in what we want to do, what we're creating, uh, what we're investing our time and attention into. So um, let's work with that energy if we're inspired to. Um, when I created this illustration, um, there's actually two figures, I don't know if you can see them, two figures here, two figures in love coming together in a space of love and they don't have to be lovers you can come together with other people in love without having to be a lover of that person so there's this sense of coming together as I drew this and these being like um, wings I guess or arms extending out from these um, this couple these people and flowing around the earth so I drew this as the earth as the planet and how important it is that we do come together in love and in um, accept in a space of acceptance and understanding of each other and of other people and uh, that feels to be important to think about perhaps for some of us is coming together in that space of love and how can we grow and expand and develop and um, evolve that sense of love so that we can make a difference in this world. And it might just be a difference in individual lives. It doesn't have to be, you know, a big change the world sort of thing because it does start with the individual and our group um, surroundings, I guess, our group situations, our family gatherings, our family um, situations or the community as well. We can expand that sense of love out into our immediate surroundings, if you like. So this sense of expanded love is coming in for Tuesday and Wednesday. So let's tap into it as best as we can. If we're feeling low or unsupported or we're struggling right now, then um, perhaps do your best to feel and tap into a sense of love that is around you, a sense of support that is there. So please know that you are loved and supported, especially if you're struggling right now and that you are not alone. So I trust that makes sense for you. That's the guidance for Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so thank you so much for being here. It comes to you from my Speed of Light Oracle cards, which are available now. If you want to learn more about them, have a look on my website if you like. So thank you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you'd like to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. So keep an eye out this weekend for our 
13th birthday celebrations. I'm going to be doing two one hour each live video streams with some surprises. So you definitely want to be catching at least one of those live if you're able to. So have a look in the events tab on my uh, Facebook page or in my blog on my website to find the details and the times that these things are going to be happening because um, I'll be doing things I don't usually do in those videos as a special treat for our birthday. So I trust that um, the times work for you and you can join me for at least some of them. Um, we've got our healing event for patrons happening, actually two of them on Thursday. So um, I look forward to connecting with you if you're in our uh, Temple of Balance patrons and you support my work through Patreon, then um, I'm looking forward to our healing event. And it's not too late to join if you want to, so just have a look on my Patreon page. But anyway, I've got to scoot and head out and run some errands. So I'm going to read your comments when I get back home in a few hours' time. Um, and thank you for connecting. I'll connect with you again soon, um, perhaps on Thursday for the healing event, or maybe I'll be back on Thursday to pull some more cards, hopefully, if um, I have find the time to do that. So... Thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll chat with you again soon. So thank you and namaste. And namaste means that the divine, the creator within me honours and acknowledges the divine, the creator within you. That we are equal, we are one. So thank you so much. Namaste.